I'm gonna show you exactly how I plan out my week as a seven-figure CEO. And guys, there's no fancy mics, there is no fancy camera, there's no fancy lighting. It is just me, my iPhone, a nice little view, and me just documenting, me being fully authentic and just sharing it with you guys. And uh, this is one thing I've been wanting to do more. I think the world is seeking more authentic content. And truthfully, truthfully I think one thing I wanna test myself with is how do I make better content without having my editor go and cut out these little clips? And so let me show you guys exactly how I plan out my week as a seven figure CEO. But before I give you guys a breakdown of my calendar and how I plan out my week and how I think about these things, this is how I start every single day. So I'll make a day in the life as well, right? But like, this is how I start every single day. I come out here and might be a little bit windy, so I apologize for that. There's no fancy mics or editing. I stare at the sun and I get my vitamin D. Obviously, this, we live in Costa Rica out here, so uh, very easy to get our sun. But just sit here, pray, look at this view, and just like thank God for like what I have. Um, and then, yeah, I'll show you guys my calendar. Let's get to it. All right, we're back in the office. I'm going to show you guys my schedule, my breakdown, everything. And so... Um, one thing that's very, very, very important that I started doing, and I think you guys should implement as CEOs and entrepreneurs is you guys, I use notion for this, right? But I create a priority of the week, right? A lot of times us business owners, we get so stuck in the day to day, right? We have a ton of meetings, a ton of stuff we're doing. We think we're busy, right? And we don't move the needle forward in our business versus planning out one major priority of the week, right? Like one, for me, like last week, essentially it was plan out my event. I booked a yacht, confirmed that the villa was ready to go, um, just confirmed with the team who's going in, bought plane tickets, whatever, right? That was like the main priority of the week because it took a lot of time. This week I have a lot of tasks I need to do for moving over to school and creating all these different things. And so when you create a priority of the week, right? What I encourage you guys to do is list a bunch of like subtasks, break down the priority of the week into subtasks. And then you do one after another, after another, because when you guys try to tackle a big project, you're kind of like, dude, what do I do? Right? Like, I don't want to even start it versus if you have a bunch of subtasks, it's very easy to break it down. It's very easy to be like, check 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 one after another and sometimes there's 10 of them sometimes there's 15 right it is what it is but i like the satisfaction of checking them off because it just like makes you feel accomplished in a little bit of a way right like you every time you just check them off you're like all right i'm moving towards my goals and so i'll literally create like the 10 15 tasks for the priority of the week that are subtasks and i'll allocate each one during different days of the week right for mondays i'll, I'll add the three of them for tuesday i'll add like two of them wherever day it fits best and then uh and then i have like eight each day right here and then new tasks and projects i'm working on and so my life is like really really organized i like to have everything just like super figured out all the time right and so um, and then here's my schedule is nothing crazy. I, I don't like to just have like a crazy schedule. I like to have sectors, like, like to give you guys a breakdown of like how I have my schedule, how I create it. And, uh, I don't, this is cool. Actually, I'm gonna get like a vlog camera out here. Um, but one thing I do want to say is figure out what days work for what tasks, right? And so what days work for me is Mondays are creative days, right? Since it's Monday morning, I'm recording a new style of content. Usually I'll, I'll have my camera, I'll, uh, I'll be figuring this stuff out, right? And so I'll be thinking of content ideas, thinking about what I wanna talk about, what I wanna do. And so Mondays are like the creative days. And Mondays is also where I meet with my team, get them all hyped up for the week, right? And so, um, and so that's one thing that we do on Mondays. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays is coaching and consulting. My clients can only book in those days and I give them a lot of times to book in, right? But um, the way I structure my week is really, really important because guys, if you guys throw in three sales calls, two consulting calls, content, you're gonna get like everything done or some of it done, but is it your best work, right? Versus if you have 
a day of coaching calls or a day of meeting with your team and planning out the next whatever, right? And so that's how, I think that's how your best work gets done when you like compartmentalize per day and and uh, and just figure it out, right? I don't let sales calls book get booked in on, on random days. I don't let, um, I don't, and so everything's just compartmentalized on my calendar. And then I block off my life. This is something I really, really wanna say like, just because you're an entrepreneur, just because you're a business owner, just because you're a CEO, a lot of times you will block off, like you'll block off the work that he's done, the sales calls, the meetings, right? Block off your own personal life as well. Like I literally have date nights blocked off on my calendar. I have uh, content blocked off my, on my calendar. I literally have pickleball blocked off on my calendar twice a week. And sometimes I'm trying to go s some more too. And so block off what's important to you, right? No one can now book in a meeting during my pickleball time, which is today, which I'm excited for, because I like playing with these old people, even though they're better than me. And so I'm gonna start whooping their butts here soon. But regardless, uh, regardless, guys, what I do wanna say is block off the calendar and and just prioritize certain things. And, and guys, use a timer. This is like the hardest, I bought this thing. Some A lot of you guys might have this timer, right? And, the, and then you set a little time and then you go check your phone, right? Don't do that. So set a time and literally just like do 20 minutes. I do like 20 minute sprints, right? Sometimes it'll take a little longer and I'll double down. Um, but no phone, no bathroom, no nothing. I literally, I'm just like, all right, Boris, focus on the work. That is some of my best work. And so I encourage you guys to try that, right? Try time blocking, like obviously like categorize each day of the week and then time block. And so like if I go and I'm like, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna record this little video piece of content right I've, I've given myself 30 minutes to do it right and so it's like i'm not going to prioritize about anything else i'm not going to think about anything else i'm not going to do anything else other than make this video right now for you guys which actually guys let me know in the comments if you do like this style more i'm i i'm just trying to grow as a ceo i'm just trying to grow my consulting company um with the agency i'm still a part of in a sense uh just on on the board and giving them ideas and stuff and so like everything i learn i want to share with you guys and so and and i want to do it in an authentic way right like anyone can go and script a video and hire an editor and, and then talk about what they care about and then post it right i think it's a whole different skill set to pull up a camera like this on an iPhone and just talk. No edits, raw, and just, obviously there's a clip downstairs, uh, upstairs of me on my balcony, whatever, I'm clipping it together. There's no cuts though, there's no nothing. It's just raw. And so I'm gonna be testing this out. I want you guys to let me know in the comments what you guys prefer or just message me or whatever. Um, but regardless, so going back to my schedule, right? How I think about my schedule as a, a seven-figure CEO is everything's on there, right? The days I pay my team, the days I handle certain tasks, the days um, I do certain things. And one thing I do want to say is start saying no. Start saying no to things. Um, because as a CEO, there's my little cat, uh, as, as a CEO, one of the problems most of us have is we like to do a bunch of BS work, right? We like to feel busy and not move the needle forward. And we, and we don't do it intentionally, right? We, uh, we just do a bunch of tasks and think we're busy and then nothing changes for a month or two and you're like, what am I doing with my life? I've been there so many times. And so uh, you definitely wanna compartmentalize, you wanna set goals of the week and you want to just do things in, in, in just like, and hustles, right? Like it, there's different seasons for life. And so um, sometimes you might be in a growth season, right? Sometimes you might be in a season of like, hey, let me, my calendar is gonna be way more stacked up and that's okay, right? Like my, my sales calendar is gonna be way more busy and I'm gonna have a little less time to go play uh, sports or do whatever I wanna do, right? But that's okay because you're in that season. And then when you get back out of that season and you're more in a season of like chilling, you can't feel guilty about not having to work. That's one thing we all struggle with. And I know this is kind of off topic with the schedule thing, but whatever season you're in, 
like be happy about it, right? If you're in a season of grinding, then grind. If you're a season of like growth and expansion and seeing your fruits, uh, fruits like of your labor just like happen, like everything's like popping off, everything's going well. Like, dude, a lot of us will be like, it's not good enough or I gotta keep working. Like take a week off, like it is what it is. And so um, completely off topic, but another thing I've been thinking about as a, as a CEO is a lot of us have like unrealistic expectations of this game, right? Like a lot of us have like this, these real unrealistic expectations of timing and how everything's supposed to be, right? And I just want to say something, right? Um, nothing happens on our timing for one, and for two, like I think the game of entrepreneurship is, if I can keep my head above water long enough, I'm gonna beat out my competitors. Because a lot of people, we live in like a participation trophy generation, right? Where everyone's like giving up too early, seeking validation and not getting it and giving up on this game. Like, dude, this game is hard, right? Like who's gonna give you money out here if you're like weak or can't think through problems, right? And so um, I think, I think, yeah, my point is just push through, right? Like set longer time span, uh, to set like goals on a longer time span because what the, oh, you don't control the timing, right? And so my, my point in saying all that is essentially is essentially that like if you just keep your head above water, you're gonna win. That's it, right? If you just keep your head above water and you like, it, I literally look at the ocean and I think about this. Like sometimes I have hard days and even though like a lot of money comes in, right? It just doesn't feel like I'm progressing. I, I'm like, Boris, as long as you keep your head above water, you're going to beat out your competitors. Because I'm stepping into a new industry, which is coaching. I feel like I, I took over the agency space. I got to 100K plus a month. I sold my agency, right? And now I'm in a different arena, which is coaching, where new limiting beliefs come in, new problems come in, new things. And now you're just like, all right, I got to stay above water and, and figure this thing out. And so as as you, as you evolve, your schedule evolves, and as, as, as you do these things, um, and so... To leave you guys off with the final thing, this is how my schedule looks. And it used to look a lot busier. We started closing in the DMs as well. Like we started closing people in the Instagram DMs and we have like a little like chart thing, not like a chart, a little thing we send out that's like all the information of what it's like to work with us and, what, and it comes with what it comes with and I teach ads and all this, right? Super simple, but um, yeah, like ever since we started doing that, we had less sales calls, which which is just killer, right? I'd rather be at the beach with my wife than taking a sales call with some tire kicker. Like, it just doesn't make sense, right? And so that's how I structure my schedule. Everything's very organized. Everything's very systemized. I like to have everything just very like spotless. Every day is just like, I know where everything is. Content day, systems day, admin day, like I financial Fridays. I, I, I forgot to touch on this, right? Last thing I guess I wanna leave you with is financial Fridays. Mondays are content, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, consulting and meeting with team and whatever. Fridays, literally paying my team and, and looking at all the numbers. Because guys, it's important to track your KPIs, right? But if you don't look at them and make decisions regarding your KPIs and regarding the finances and regarding what's going on in your company, you're gonna fail, right? Like a lot of us are scared to check our bank accounts, scared to check out the numbers. I wanna know every number, I'm a numbers guy. And so like Fridays, I literally sit down for an hour or two, meet with my team about all the numbers. And then I go look at them like, huh, I spent a dollar, I, got, I, I spent a dollar on these ads and it turned into seven. Okay. These ads gave me a 10 X return. Like I, that's not bad. Maybe we should run these up or, and, uh, oh, we spent $12,000 on this thing last month, or I just spent $15,000 on my event in the last couple of weeks. Right. And it's just like, Okay, yeah, but it's reinvesting back in this. It's just like kind of compartmentalizing. I'll also sending that to my tax guy, right? Like your guy, your guy's life needs to be organized. You can't like build a big company and not be organized with your schedule, with your life, with how you think. Because the thing is like, as you scale up, you talk to more and more like high level entrepreneurs. And these guys are like, they're on top of their stuff. They know their numbers. And so like, like when I talk to people that are up there uh, and people doing way bigger numbers than me, right? Like 10, 15, 20 mil a year. And I'm like, these people, like I want to be a shadow of those people. Like they, they, they know their numbers. They like, what do they, what do these people do? 
And essentially, I know it's kind of a tangent, right? And so, let me know if you guys like these videos. They're gonna be more raw. They're gonna be more of Boris thoughts, Boris authentic thoughts. Like I'm gonna add my little snippets of like what I think, how to, how to do things. And uh, let me know if you guys like this. Um, I've obviously, and this is my first video on here with this view, all right? I was like thinking to myself, like I literally live in paradise. It's never in the background. And so it's gonna be in the background now. Let me know if you guys like this video. Hit the subscribe button if this was helpful in any way. Let me know. And uh, I appreciate you guys. Have a great week.